Hi, I'm Michael Choi, and today we're going to discuss commission or agent success fee. Um, commission is a big is a big script that everyone wants to know about, and so I thought I'd collate what I think is the top ten or the top ten that I've ever heard uh, that have come out of my office and come out of offices all over Australia for people that we network with and that get the best results. But um, I think what's important first is that um, before agents go learning all these scripts or dialogues, but firstly they learn how to negotiate first and obviously bring value to their client because there's no point charging your client an extra rate or extra um, more than costing more than anyone else if you're actually not making them a profit at the end of the day. So I think it's so important. It's, it's, I think it's ethical. I know, I know it's ethical and uh, it's important for your longevity in real estate to make sure you are actually supplying them with value, meaning you're in, uh, giving them the end result a lot higher than anyone else. Okay, so assuming those fundamentals are all there, here we go. Success fee. It's very important to pre-frame, okay, pre-frame uh, before you go into uh, talking about commission. Number one, if we could agree on commission today, or if we could agree on a success fee today, are you in a position to move forward? We'll get all the paperwork done today, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor. Okay, very important to get that commitment because if they're not committed, then it's it's, it's really irrelevant uh, to start negotiating commission because it can get renegotiated later on. So you need some commitment from them. Okay, um, so once you get that, fantastic. Then I suppose it comes down to he who talks first. The good old saying, he who talks first. So, um, okay, Mr. Vengo, what would you like to reward me with? What would you like to reward me with? And that leaves the ball in their court. It lets them talk first. Uh, because maybe they're happy to pay you 3.3 or 4%. And, and if they are, and that's that's the goal right in the area, or, or slightly above, then take it. And no problem with that. And then, then that's a win-win. You, then you don't have to go through scripts and scripts and scripts and scripts for commission structure that they would have paid you anyway. Okay? Failing all of that, you've got 10 of the top, the top 10 commission scripts. Okay? Number one is the joke, what we call the joke. So, oh, we, we're, we're at 4%. Or, no, we say... Oh, we're at six percent, and you just pause. You put a you go straight face to the client. The client's like, "What? Six percent?" And you go, "No, no, no. I'm just joking. We're only three point three percent, including GST. We'll go with that." And so that's the joke. It, it settles them down, uh, and then you give them the reality of three point three percent because they're all you know they're all loose, and you just had a laugh. A lot of the time, that, that knocks out 50% of them anyway. Okay, yeah, we'll just run through it. Once again, uh, not needing the other other ones, okay? Uh, Finding that, we go into a multiple choice in, in, in our team. So we have uh, four multiple choices that they can choose, uh, catering for a different type of brain types, a flat rate, a percentage, a uh, percentage with an incentive, and a uh, percentage with a higher incentive and they get to choose out of those ones based on what their house price is. So we've got different charts of different house prices and they look at it, okay? Number three, if we were the same rate as every other agent, would you go with us? Uh, only ask that one if you know that the answer is going to be yes, and if they say yes, then you say why? And all of a sudden they're selling, they're selling you to, to themselves, okay? Or so they're selling you to you. And you say, okay, well, aren't those points of difference worth something? So what I'm hearing is you're wanting to get uh, me at a rate of someone that you're not happy to go with. So if you're wanting me because I've got those extra points of differences, surely that's worth something in your pocket. Okay. Next one, don't discount me before I've had a chance to actually uh, display my skills. So wouldn't you feel um, guilty, Mr. Vendor, if I got you 200 grand over your reserve price, but you uh, only gave me a substandard commission structure or success fee? And, and, and it's, a, it's a rhetorical question. Of course, the answer is yes. And okay, so rather than uh, reduce my commission now, let's agree on a hypothetical commission because you're only paying it. Uh, if we sell it. So let's agree on the hypothetical and, and let's not discount me now until I've had a chance to actually show you what result I can get you. Okay? Um, discount mentality, well, that's pretty much the, the oldest one on the book, but it's a goodie, so I, I thought I'd include it in there. Um, oh, doesn't that concern you a little bit, Mr. Vendor? They've reduced their commission so quickly. What do, you, uh, what do you think that kind of agent will do when they're standing in the front of your house at an open for inspection? If they're so quickly to reduce their own income, what are they going to do with your money, etc., etc.? I like that one, that's the good old one. Um, add the difference to your price. Okay, so the difference between us and them is $2,000, $3,000. Uh, 
Let's just add that to your price, Mr. Vendor. Nice and simple. Calculator. Uh, calculator slash happy script. Uh, basically, that's... Um, let's just agree on 3.3% and it doesn't matter what we're charging. We could charge 15 grand, we could charge $25,000 hypothetically, we could charge $100,000. It doesn't matter what we charge because you're only going to pay when you sell and you're only going to sell after you pull out your calculator and you're happy with the figure that you get in your pocket. So let's not worry about the commission that we're on right now, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, um, because it's you're only going to pay it if you sell, and you're only going to sell once you pull out the calculator and you work out what you get in your pocket. So let's just move forward. We'll run with this, yes? Two houses, okay, so you have two houses, one's at, say, 3.3 and another one's at 3%. Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, I know um, your house is unique and it's different from everything else, but let's just say there's another house on the market that's just like yours, uh, that, that's in our company, for example. Now, I work, work with great people, they really are great people, but they've got families, they've got kids to feed, and they need to put food on the table and clothes on the kids' back. Now, I'm telling you, I work with awesome people. However, if we work with buyers sometimes for six months and in that six time, six months we created a relationship with these buyers so much so that sometimes they can't decide what house they're going to buy and they ask us for the advice and I'm saying Mr. Vendor if it comes down to that I'm assuming that the team are going to say look this one based on commission now if you're put in the same position what would you do if the buyer was happy with both of them and the only thing that was different was and the happy buyer would be happy buying both of them the only thing that was different was the commission so I think it's important to put yourself in the team's shoes Make sure you give them incentive to sell your house the best, okay? Uh, two houses, okay, so uh, case studies. Of course, showing case studies, saying that uh, this is a house that we sold around the corner, this is a house that we sold around the, uh, on the other street, and this is what we got them, more importantly, in the pocket, in the pocket. So case studies are always going to be good, and last resort is always uh, commission negotiable on the authority. I'll put it as number 10. Um, Look, it happens everywhere, and in reality, whether or not you have this on your authority or not, it still exists, um, because it's implied, because you're not going to sell it anyway. But basically, Mr. Mr. Vendor, let's put uh, commission negotiable up until sale, meaning let's not discount my services now, let's see what I produce you, and if you're unhappy then, then you reduce my commission, rather than you're reducing it now before I've even had a chance. Okay, so they're the top 10. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, got one or two points that you never heard about before. If you have any questions, give me a call. Enjoy.